Hey guys, Man here, and welcome to the 15,000 subscriber milestone questions and answer video. Even though I have almost 18,000 by now. But anyway, first I just, I do this a lot, but I want to thank you guys again for just, you know, getting me to this point. It's, uh, it's really something, knowing that this many people find my content worth uh, subscribing to. But... I'm not going to waste any time. I have a list of questions here, as well as the answers to them. So I've separated the questions into a few different categories based on what's being asked. So I'll go ahead and put the time codes in the description or in the video so you can find them more easily. Uh, oh, and one last thing. A lot of these questions are pretty old because like it, it was months ago. I think it was like eight or nine months ago is ridiculous. I put the Q&A announcement video up, so if you have like any newer questions, uh, you can go ahead and ask them in the comments, and you know, I'll just I'll do my best to try and answer those. And alright, so let's get started. Questions about Star Wars games. Get to the most pertinent questions first. Are you going to play any new Star Wars games? Uh, yes, I plan to. Unless they're really bad, then I might not. I might not bother. Uh, speaking of, I have a lot of questions asking, are you going to do this game? Are you going to do that game? And for most of those, I don't really have an interesting answer, except for, you know, somewhere between maybe and probably. Uh, for some games, though, I have a little bit more to say, so I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and answer those. Such as, uh, will you be playing Battlefront 3? Or just Battlefront, because we name things like that. And, um, I probably won't bother, if I'm gonna be honest, because, um, normally the answer would be, like, oh yeah, of course. Of course I'd play, it's Battlefront. But here's the thing. The game was published by EA, Electronic Arts, and I hate EA. I, I just don't want to support them. I don't want to download Origin, and, you know. But the game itself looks alright. It just doesn't have a single-player campaign, as far as I'm aware, so... And I probably won't bother with it. Another question asks, If you get the new Star Wars Battlefront, will you play it on console or PC? And i definitely play it on PC, if I were to get it, which, again, I probably won't. Another question asks, With the new Battlefront, uh, what do you think of the exclusion of the Clone Wars battles? And here's the thing with that. That was definitely an executive decision. EA, without a doubt, they wanted the game out in time for The Force Awakens, so they could cash in on the movie hype, of course. So DICE, developers, they had to choose what had to be cut to make that deadline. Uh, you know, they're game developers, so of course they want to put in as much content as they can to make the best game that they can. But EA has their deadlines, so they had to look at what they wanted to include, and, well, Clone Wars, Clone Wars stuff was just one of those things that had to be cut. So, you know, don't blame them. They want to include what they want to have. But, sorry, I, I'm entertaining a cat on my lap right now, and she is very distracting. But yeah, don't, don't blame the developers. Uh, be sure to blame EA for that stuff. Anyways... Another question asks, Will you do Star Wars Battlefront 2, or will you go back to Star Wars Battlefront 2 again with uh, Conquest mode? And, uh, I probably won't. I, I think I showed enough of that game, and I'm kind of moving on to other things now. So, sorry. Another question says, well, asks, Do you plan on opening a server on Battlefront for all of us to play on? Uh, no, sorry. Another question, are you going to go back to Empire at War? Uh, I'm assuming they, they're they asking about like the, the Galactic Conquest mode or like multiplayer or anything like that. Um, and going back to the base game, I, I probably won't. I think I showed enough of the game. I think I showed everything that I wanted to show just playing through the two campaigns, uh, Rebel and Empire. And it's like, it's a really long series anyway, it's like a hundred parts exactly, I think. So, eh, I think I'm done with it. 
Another question asks, are you going to play Empire or Mods? Uh, for the base game, no. Like I said, I, I'm pretty much done with the base game. But if I ever start, if I ever get around to starting uh, Forces of Corruption, I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe not. I honestly can't say for sure. Um, I think if I were to ever start a playthrough, I would do the vanilla, do a vanilla run first without any mods, and then after that, I'd uh, I would see, I'd see what what the mods have to offer. Speaking of, the next question asks, are you gonna play Star Wars Forces of Corruption? And probably. It seems like there's a lot of interest in that series. Like, I think it's my most viewed Let's Play, which which I find to be pretty interesting. So uh, yeah, I probably will. Another question asks, have you played Star Wars Galaxies emulator or Project Swig? What do you think of them? And a while ago I played uh, Emu, the emulator. Uh, this was years ago, though. It was, it was even before Creature Handler was even put in, and there just wasn't much to do at the time. So, uh, you know, I got bored with it. I left after like a week, so... But yeah, that, that was like years ago, and it's, it's probably a lot different by now. So, I'd have to check it out again. Another question says, will you do a series on it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Again, I have to go back to that old mainstay, maybe. For most of these games. The next question asks, Will you play Knights of the Old, the Old Republic 2? And if you ever do a Let's Play on KOTOR 2, will it be with the restored content mod? Uh, again, sorry, best answer I can give to this is maybe. It's definitely a very long game, so I, I'm really hesitant to kind of jump in on that. I mean, the first game was like 106 parts, and each video was like 20-30 minutes, so, you know. But if I do eventually get around to it, uh, yeah, I would probably add in the restored content mod. And uh, it's actually on Steam right now, uh, with the mod in the workshop, so it's easier than ever to uh, get in on that. And the next question asks, will you play Star Wars The Old Republic? You know, the, the MMO. Uh, another question, do you play, do you play Sweater and will you ever? Are you planning to do a Sweater Let's Play? There is so much content now with all the expansions and such, and aside from the expansions, I suggest the Smuggler storyline. I remember once when you said that it will not live up to galaxies. Oh lord, the nostalgia. <laughs> oh, Star Wars The Old Republic. You know, this is probably the only Star Wars game where I can, just with absolute certainty, I can comfortably say that I probably will not be doing a Let's Play for it. Because I did play it, by the way. A few months ago, I played a bounty hunter and got her to like level 42, I believe. And also, and also uh, back in the day, back in the closed beta, I played as a smuggler. Or got to around the 40s-ish area before they wiped the servers and I stopped. Um, the problem is, though, is the game is just so boring. It is so gosh darn boring. Every quest is the same. It's just you pick up your quest, you go to a place, you click on a thing, or you kill 20 dudes. Sometimes they give you like an item to use, but you know, whatever. You come back, you turn in your quest, and then you do that for like 20 more quests for that planet. And then you move on to the next planet and you do the exact same thing. Now you might say, well, you just play it for the story then. Uh, the stories are boring too. At least the two stories I've experienced, The Smuggler and The Bounty Hunter. And I can't really imagine that any of the stories are just so amazingly written and different that they would make the game worth playing through again. So yeah, just... I probably won't do a series on it because it's just really boring. Anyways... Next question. I know that you are a Star Wars gaming channel only, but have you considered doing games that have Star Wars mods? Like Mountain Blade, uh, asking about Star Wars Conquest. Uh, another question: What is your favorite Star Wars mod for a non-Star Wars game? And you know, I I just might do that. I actually have played Star Wars Conquest uh, quite extensively. I almost conquered the entire galaxy, but uh, at the time the mod was the mod was still pretty poorly optimized, 
And as far as I'm aware, they haven't really... I, I think uh, the, the project is done. Like, they stopped developing for it. I'm not sure. But anyway, like, at the time, it was pretty poorly optimized, and um, it would just kind of crash from there on. Because, like, I guess they couldn't handle all the information they had to process based on my vast empire. Which, I, in the game, like, I created my own empire, and, you know. Which, that sucks, because I was, like, four planets away from winning, from conquering the entire galaxy. But, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's actually the one Star Wars mod for a game that I've, I've played, and it was pretty good. So I might actually consider doing that. I'd have to, you know, set up different win conditions in case, uh, I wasn't able to complete the whole game, but, you know. Next question. Will you play Star Wars Rebellion? And, uh, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, that actually came out on Steam recently, along with a bunch of older games. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. I've seen a Let's Play on it, and it, it just seems really, really micromanagement heavy. Like it's like a, like you're you're doing like all all of the um, all of the minutiae of conducting a war effort. And it's like mm, didn't look that terribly interesting. So I don't know. Uh, I will recommend it. The uh, the guy that I watched play through it though, a guy called uh, Johnny Westray. 78. I'll, I'll put his name in the on the screen in the description so you can look up his Let's Play of it. He had a pretty solid run of the game, last I saw, so, you know, go check him out. And finally, we have a question that asks, what are some of your favorite Star Wars games? And, uh, that's hard to say. Uh, my favorite Star Wars game to play would probably be... Well, the thing is, there's so many genres of Star Wars games, and they all do different things, you know? You know, there's different things that I like about them, so it's hard to pick a favorite because of that. So, um... I think just to give, like, a non-standard answer, I'll say the original trilogy arcade machine game. Like, the arcade cabinet? The one with the joystick? Because, uh, growing up, whenever my parents took me to the arcade, that, that was the one machine I always went to. I always had to play that at least once, all the way through. But, um... The one that I appreciate the most would be Star Wars Galaxies. It's not my favorite to play, but I definitely appreciate Star Wars Galaxies the most. Alright, on to the next category, is non-Star Wars games. I have a question that asks, what is your favorite not-Star Wars game? And, again, I basically have to say, you know, there's a lot of things about a lot of different games because they do things differently so it's hard to pick a uh, favorite one but if I had to choose um, to pick a game that I would go back and play today uh, actually I'm gonna cheat I'm gonna pick more than one game uh, I actually really like the uh, the Mario RPG games my favorites were uh, Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars uh, Superstar Saga, and uh, The Thousand Year Door. Those are my three favorite of those games. Um, and unfortunately, the Mario RPGs are kind of turning bad now. But, you know. Uh, but a more recent game that I really liked was uh, Legend of Grimrock 2. I like the first one too, but especially the second one. It's a smaller game. It's uh, on Steam, and I really recommend it. You should check it out. Another question asks... Are you interested in any upcoming games? And, you know, I, don't, I actually don't follow game releases all that much. I, I probably should get better about that, considering I'm, I'm... I study game design. But, uh... Well, whatever. Hey, the, uh, the new Star Fox game looks pretty good. Uh, I think it's called Star Fox Zero. Uh, I mean, it's actually like a... It looks like a Star Fox game, and not whatever they've been doing with the series ever since Star Fox Adventures. So, I think that's good. <laughs> Alright, the next set of questions are just general Star Wars questions. Question one is, what got you into Star Wars? Uh, actually, what first got me into Star Wars was uh, Star Wars Episode Two, uh, back when I was, back when I was a, a wee little Vader lad. <laughs> when I was still a kid and my dad took me to see it. Um, 
I didn't become a big fan of Star Wars until I got into Star Wars Galaxies. Um, next question is, what is your favorite part in the Star Wars series, and why? Mine is the Clone Wars. Uh, my favorite part of Star Wars would be, well, the universe itself. I mean, at least the parts that I like, because, you know, there, there's a lot of dumb stuff people introduce to it. But yeah, I just, I just like the feel of the universe, that, uh, that lived-in quality that the first movie introduced. And the Force is a neat concept, but it's not necessary to appreciate it uh, if you're more interested in, like, the, the non-mystical characters. It's just an enjoyable universe that lends itself really well to the imagination. And, um... I think it's because of my Star Wars Galaxies, like because I started with Star Wars Galaxies, that I, I ended up with that viewpoint. Because Star Wars Galaxies was a, um, it, it was a, it was a sandbox game. It was a sandbox game that emphasized you making your own story. So uh, I think that had a big influence on my perspective there, how I appreciate the universe more than, uh, more than the, the individual characters. Next question is, uh, who do you think is the sexiest Sith Lord? Ha, huh. well, I think Darth Sion is up there pretty high. You know that guy from KOTOR 2, the one, the one where his body is like completely made up of open wounds and scar tissue? Whew, that gets me hot under the collar, you know? <laughs> Next question. Uh, which faction do you prefer, the Rebellion or the Empire, and why? Well, the Empire, obviously. I mean, they've been the ones keeping order all this time, right? I mean, yeah, it sucks if you're an alien, but hey, if you live in Imperial territory, you're probably not going to have any crime problems, you know? I mean, criminals are scared of the Empire, and for good reason. Criminals and pirates, you know, they start making trouble on Imperial worlds, the Stormtrooper squad's going to kick their door in and just light them up. Because the Empire doesn't tolerate that stuff. And that's if you're lucky. I mean, you might be unlucky and get shipped off to, you know, the spice mines at Kessel or something. Meanwhile, you, you like, what have the rebels been doing? Oh, you know, just de destabilizing the galactic peace and order the empires work so hard to achieve. They're all like, oh no, please don't oppress us. <laughs> Jeez. What a bunch of whiners. <laughs> next, next question is, uh... Hi, Super Vader Man. What do you think of Star Wars Rebels? Uh, Star Wars Rebels sucks. <laughs> if I'm gonna be br brutally honest, it sucks. It's just, it's really bad. It's really poorly written. I saw the season two finale a couple weeks ago and it was awful. So, uh, spoilers, I guess? I mean, if you care about the show, then, you know, whatever. So, spoilers. It takes place on a uh, not Malachor, because it's not blown up. Uh, you know, the planet, it was blown up, but not in the show, so... It had nothing to do with the source material, and... So it, it could have been called anything else, basically. But they had to try and exploit your nostalgia by naming it Malachor, so... You know. Uh, Darth Maul comes back, again. And now he's like a mustache-twirling villain, and... Eh... And, but the stupidest thing that I've ever seen in any Star Wars media, which is saying a lot, are the helicopter lightsabers that the Inquisitors literally fly around with multiple times throughout the episode. So, I mean, the writers seemed really proud of that idea. You know, good job, guys. And really, that should be all I have to say about it. That, that's just how bad and stupid the show is. And it doesn't look like it's going to get any better. So anyway, next question is, uh, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? What is your favorite Star Wars movie in the trilogy and the prequels? How do you feel about the prequels versus the originals? And, um, uh, the prequels suck. All of them do, including the third one. Some people like the third one, which, no, the third one sucks too. It has some fun moments. But, like, they're fun because they're silly, and they're dumb. <laughs> like, the Emperor, like, throwing giant chairs at Yoda, and laughing maniacally, that, that's fun. That's funny, and fun, but... 
it's dumb. So, um, as far as my favorite movie goes, uh, I don't know. I think it's either The New Hope or The Empire Strikes Back. One of those two. Next question is, what is your favorite lightsaber color? Mm, I don't know. Orange, maybe? Yeah, let's just go with orange. Next question is, who is your favorite Star Wars character? Well, I think it'd have to be one, one of the characters from the video games. Uh, Kyle Katarn's an obvious choice, but uh, I like a couple other ones too, like uh, Jolie Bindo and in HK-47. You know, the characters with kind of like a snarky humor to them. I tend to like those more than other ones. Next question is, is Ashrod your favorite Sith? Because he's a sand person. Yeah, he's kind of cool. I mean, he's not really a sand person, but yeah, he's close enough. But the thing is, like, I think he's from like a, a comic book series, and I don't I haven't read any of the Star Wars comics, so I can't really give an educated opinion on that character. Next question is, what are your thoughts on Ewoks? Eh, they shouldn't have happened. Like, they're really just there as, as like an example of how marketing and executives tend to ruin things. Because that's what they were made for, uh, to introduce something marketable that could be made into toys, you know? I, th I think uh, originally Endor was going to be Kashyyyk, the Wookiee planet, and they are going to be Wookiees instead of Ewoks, which, you know, that would make a lot more sense, you know, Wookiees defeating the Empire, but instead we get Ewoks, you know. Next question is, uh, what are your thoughts on Disney's refusal to accept the existence of the Star Wars Expanded Universe? And do you still miss the Expanded Universe? And, uh, yeah, it's disappointing. It's definitely disappointing. I mean, how many decades of material created by dozens or hundreds of different authors and artists and game designers and everyone that contributed to the Star Wars universe? I mean, it's pretty much disregarded now. I mean, yeah, you can go back, like, Disney can go back and pick and choose stuff and butcher it and reintroduce it for the sake of nostalgia exploitation, like Malachor. But you can probably tell that I'm still not too thrilled about even that caveat. And the thing is, they technically didn't have to do that to the old canon. You know, they already had a, uh, a system set up so that any new content overrides the old stuff. They had, they had these levels, like these tiers of canon. So like how, how movie stuff override stuff from books and video games like they they had a system for that so really the only reason they did it was because they just didn't feel like dealing with the expanded universe anymore they just didn't feel like going in and seeing what they're writing over or if their new stories would mesh with the old ones they just they just didn't feel like it anymore so just whatever wipe it throw it in the trash yeah we don't care anymore it's yeah, yeah. it's just disappointing what happened to the Expanded Universe? Next question is, since Disney changed the canon for Star Wars, are you happy that Delta Squad is canon, along with all the members having their original name and with all of them being alive? And I actually hadn't thought about this, but you know, it, that's true now. Uh, technically, Delta Squad's only, only canonical appearance is uh, like, they, they showed up in the Clone Wars for, like, a cameo. And, yeah, so I, I guess they're all alive. Sev's alive, guys. Who expected that? Well, here's the thing with that. Nothing else about them is canon anymore. Like, they, they, they pretty much just showed up and, and gave the good guys a thing, and then they left. So, the Republic Commando game still never happened as far as official canon is concerned, so their characters, they could be completely different for all we know. You know Scorch might not be a Joker anymore, Sev might be like, he's probably not like a, a morally questionable hunter guy anymore, Fixer might not be a, a by the book stick in the mud. We don't know. Republic Commando might as well be fan fiction as far as the official canon is concerned, so it's a really weird thing what happened to Delta Squad. It's like, they exist, 
but we technically don't know anything about them. Next question is... What are your thoughts on the current state of Star Wars? Battlefront 3, the new expanded universe, the new movies, Rebels, and all that stuff. Uh, it's bad. So far, none of the new content that's been introduced has been all that good. It's mostly either been kind of mediocre or just garbage. So, the pros prospects are not good on, uh, on the current state of Star Wars. The next question is, on top of that, what do you think about the future of Star Wars video games and movies? Like maybe how 1313 got cancelled and some, other, some of the other ideas for games they might use. And that, uh, that X-Wing movie that comes out next year and so on. Um, I'm not getting my hopes up. I mean, from what we've seen so far, it's not really worth getting your hopes up. Like, uh, like the new Rogue One trailer. That's the X-Wing series he was talking about, I think. You know that line where she's like, oh, this is a rebellion, right? I rebel. Wow, that's bad. That's so bad. So that's probably not going to have very good writing. So yeah. Mm, things just don't look good. Things are not looking good for uh, any new content that comes out. Next question is... What did you think about the Clone Wars as a whole? Uh, did you think it did justice to the clones? Did you watch the later seasons? Uh, he's talking about the CGI series. And it started out really rough. The movie sucked, the first couple seasons sucked, but to the credit of everyone who worked on that series, the writers and the animators, the show really improved as it went on. I mean, it wasn't amazing. There were still some writing derps here and there, and some concepts that I really wasn't a fan of, like Savage Opress. I know they pronounce it like, oh, Savage Opress, or Opress, to try and disguise it, but you know. Like, really? You're gonna go with that name? Like, just smash two mean-sounding words together and that's your character? But, it turned out to be a decent show, as it went on. As far as the clones go, yeah, they did good by them. As in, they actually bothered to explore what it might feel like to just be one soldier out of an army of identical soldiers. I mean, the prequels, they didn't, like, do anything with that. There was, like, no characterization whatsoever. So the bar wasn't really set very high to begin with. But, yeah, the show did a pretty, pretty decent job with that. So on to the next category is uh, questions about game design. Because, for those of you who don't know, I, I went to college for, uh, for Game Art and Design was the name of the program. So the first question is, how is game design? For someone who doesn't exactly understand what game design entails, could you explain what it is, other than the obvious? And um, first I'd like to preface, of, preface my answer by saying what kind of experience I have uh, with game design. Now the program that I was in was, was practically brand new to the college. They, they didn't have it like set in stone, they didn't have like a tried and true curriculum that they're, they're using. Like, uh, they took advice from professionals on what classes they should have, and most of the classes they had had to do with art and asset creation for games, like 3D models, textures, and so on. Like, there were actually very few courses that taught actual game design. Like, what do players enjoy playing, and, and why? It, so there were very few classes like that. I mean, I, I learned some basic principles about game design, like, oh, you shouldn't make like a big open level where you run from one side to another with nothing to do. Like, you need to add some verticality in there. Like, uh, you know, jumps and, and pits and so on. Just to make the, the traversing the level interesting. You know, just basic stuff like that. Um, but asset creation is, is mostly what I learned, rather than actual game design. And, um, so yeah, like, that's why even after like four years of college there, like I don't, I don't feel too terribly qualified to answer the question, unfortunately. However, 
I think I dare say that you would probably learn a lot about game design from just really paying attention to the games that you play. And, uh, you know, not just playing them, not like, oh, well, I beat this game, that was fun. Uh, I'm done now. And not like, oh, well, that game sucks. Like, you know, don't stop there. You go, go further with it than that. Like, identify what you enjoyed about the game. Like, like what you enjoyed and, and how that aspect of the game was used. And how you think the game designers used that to maximize that, that particular aspect of enjoyment. Uh, what I'm talking about. Like, recently I've been playing... Recently I've been playing Stardew Valley. It's basically like Harvest Moon. It's it's um it's on Steam if you're interested. So I'll, I'll just I'll just ask myself like, why do I enjoy this game that I'm playing? I mean, at first you might say like, oh well, I, I like farming. I like making friends with the villagers, and that's fun. Uh, don't stop there. You know, go go deeper than that. Like, why do I like the farming and making friends with the villagers in the game? To which I might say, uh, well. I like building stuff up from nothing, which is good. That's a little bit more specific. And um, I might say, well, I, I like to say I like the way the characters are written, and I want to know more about them. And from that, you might identify that there's there's a sense of progress happening as you're playing, as you're farming, as you're building these relationships. And um, it's that sense of progress that you enjoy, so that. Even though the game is repetitive, uh, you're doing the same tasks day by day, but it still feels like you're you're working towards accomplishing something, and like that's that might be like a core a core thing that you identify that you're having fun with. And, and frankly, that's that's why most competitive multiplayer games nowadays have nowadays have some sort of like unlock system, where you get like new weapons and cosmetics and stuff. Like the more you play the game. So like even though you're doing these same multiplayer matches over and over again, like there's still that that sense of progression. Like that's that's why those games have that. And um, yeah, like identifying these aspects of these games, like it's just something you need like a critical eye for. And just think, being able to think critically is well, it's, it's just a good skill to have in general. You know, not just for game design, but just for everything. And um. Yeah, like, once you've identified what is fun about this game and how can I use it to enhance my own game that, I'm, that I might be making, then it's just a matter of implementation and finding a way to get the most you can out of that mechanic. Uh, you know, some games implement these mechanics really well and others don't do it so well. Uh, so hopefully that, uh, hopefully that answers your question. Sorry, I can't be give like a, a more educated, you know, sort of, sort of answer, but there you go. So the next question is, since you're in game design, and I plan on taking the same path, I would like to know if it is enjoyable or not. Well, I mean, obviously that depends on what you enjoy. I mean, there's the asset creation side of things, there's the modeling, the animating, texturing, level design, the environment design, which, eh, I think those aspects are alright. Each of them offer their, their own challenges and, and rewards for your creative input. Um, I especially like what I explained with the previous question, is just thinking critically about you know what is and isn't fun, and how you can use those in your own projects, and uh, like what aspects of storytelling work and don't work in the game, and why. And yeah, just how you can use them yourself. So yeah, uh, you know, it depends on what you enjoy. But, but keep in mind that just because you enjoy playing games, that doesn't necessarily mean you enjoy creating them. You know, that's, that's an important distinction to make. And you should probably, you know, ask yourself if you actually want to create games, or if you just like playing them, before you look into, look into getting into this career option. Next question is, if you ever had free reign to make your dream Star Wars game, what would it be? And, uh, I think my, my dream Star Wars game would be basically Star Wars Galaxies 2. Like a sandbox game where you kind of have to, like, make your own character and you make their, your own story. You don't 
necessarily have to have like an epic adventure, you know, like fighting stormtroopers, dark Jedi, whatever. You could just, you know, make your own goals. You know, maybe you want to plop down a house somewhere and, you know, put some resource harvesters up so you can start making your own crafting business. Uh, maybe you want to explore the, the wilds of Dathomir. And you're just like riding your, riding your EOP around, dodging rancors. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. You know, there'd be like content to play through, like developer-made content. But you could also just, uh, you know, just kind of live in the universe vicariously through your character. And yeah, I think I think that's what my hypothetical uh, dream Star Wars game would be. It's just Star Wars Galaxies 2. I mean, that wouldn't happen. Not specifically Star Wars anyway, because, you know, Disney and EA. But there you go. Next question is, specifically, what do you want to do in game design? And to be honest, I haven't really decided. Uh, but my skill set lies in asset creation, since that's what most of my classes were about. So I think I'll start out with something like that, just just making 3D, 3D models and, and stuff for uh, some company or another, I don't know. And then we'll see where I go from there, as I learn more about this stuff. And now on to general questions. B Walker says, notice me senpai. Hey. Next question is, what's your name? Cody. Like uh, the only clone in the movie that had a name. Next question is, how old are you? As of this recording, I am 25. Well, what other mythos do you enjoy besides Star Wars? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I don't know. Well, there is the, uh, the Chizo mythos that Yahtzee Krosha made. That's, that's pretty, pretty solid, I think. Like, he did a, a series of videos on his, his like adventure games that he made, and I, I think that was pretty interesting. Next question is, do you hope to continue doing YouTube in spite of your uh, your long breaks? Um, yeah, I plan to. And I'm doing that right now, actually. Next question is, what is your Steam profile? Uh, it's the same as my channel name. A few people already guessed it and sent me like random friend invites, but I'll go ahead and, con and confirm that. Uh, here's the thing with that, though. I don't really accept random friend invites from people I don't know. That's just what I do. Sorry. It's not you guys, it's me. Am I dreaming? Is this real life? I don't know. It might just be a fantasy. <laughs> Next question is, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? I like caramel ice cream. Next question, favorite color? I don't know. Green? What's your favorite food? Why do you peep? Why do you care? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway. I like pumpkin spice cheesecake. Not the real stuff, but just the Jello brand stuff that you put into a pie crust and then you put in the fridge. I like that. Next question is, what college did you go to? Uh, I went to one of the art institutes to uh, study game art and design. I won't say which one, just, just one of the art institutes. Next question. Did you see Jurassic World? If so, what did you think of it? Uh, it was silly, and dumb, and I didn't like it. <laughs> Next question. So is there anything other than Star Wars and Superman that you're interested in? Uh, funny thing about my username is I actually don't care about Superman. I actually didn't even make the Superman connection until like years after I made the Superman after I made the username, sorry. Uh, but back to the question, I I really love tabletop gaming. Tabletop games have everything that I love, you know, like advancing my character up from nothing, uh, making my own story, and just total freedom to do whatever. Like, there's no restrictions, because the story and, and the world are just being made up as you play. Next question is... Do you like Marvel or DC? Or both? What about neither? Is that an option? But no, they're alright. Uh, Marvel makes entertaining mo movies, but um, there's just kind of too many of them. 
Next question is, what kind of music do you listen to? Smiley face. Uh, mostly just the odd song every now and then that I find on YouTube or, or a video game. I don't really listen to radio music or anything. Like, like a song that I found recently was uh, through one of uh, Nysolt's videos. Like uh, that guy puts up like TF2 replays of like replays that other people submit to him. Uh, it was called like Mesmerize by by Tobu. It's like one of those one of those like um, royalty free songs, like no copyright or anything. Uh, it's on YouTube, and I'll I'll go ahead and link it in the description. Next question is, who's your favorite YouTuber? Uh, well, my favorite Let's Player uh, is Mike Clap, easily. Uh, there's just so few people out there that provide entertaining commentary uh, while being good at the game that they're playing. Like, nothing irritates me more than, than seeing someone play a game badly. Especially if they, like, blame the game for something that's their fault. That just that irritates the crap out of me. And this is so common to see among Let's Players. Just, they're bad at the game they're playing. I mean, I understand why. Because they're splitting their attention between playing and commentating, but that's just doesn't make me enjoy the video anymore. Like, I understand why, but I still don't like it. So, you know, there you go. Uh, Mike Glass my favorite because he can do both on a competent level. Uh, my favorite YouTuber in general, though, uh, well, there's a few. There's Critical, there's the Vine Sauce guys, there's Red Letter Media, Team Four Star. Uh, Star underscore, Jerma, Retsupre, Accursed Farms, Lythero. They're all pretty great. Uh, like I'm, I'm subscribed to, I think, all of them. So, like, they're in my subscription list if, if you're curious. Next question. Can you describe to me how you look? I look like this. Next question is, um... What is... 700A9 multiplied by 285 divided by 3 plus 876 to the 6th minus 180 to the 5th. Uh, the answer to that would be this. Next question is, how's life? Life is alright. Not bad, not good, but it's alright. Uh, Dishmo asks, What would you say to my open proclamation of wanting to love you unconditionally? Well, I would say if you wanted to love me unconditionally, then I, it wouldn't really matter what I said, would it, since it's unconditional. And, uh, well, that's what I would have to say to that. Uh, final question is, do you watch anime? Yes. Simple answer is yes. Alright, the next category of questions are just general questions about my channel. So the first question is, uh, how'd you come up with your, your username? Why'd you choose to be named Super Vader Man? And this is actually uh, back when I was first playing Star Wars Galaxies. Like, uh, I needed an account name to log into the forums. So I was just like, uh, uh, Vader Man. I'm typing on the keyboard. Vader Man. But that was like taken or like it wasn't allowed or whatever. So I was like, uh, Super Vader Man, and that's it. That's, that's the story of my name. There's absolutely nothing interesting behind it other than it started out as a forum name for Star Wars Galaxies. Next question is, why did you start your channel? Oh, well, several, several years ago, um, at the time, like I, I was really into watching Let's Plays, and uh, I, had, I had thoughts maybe delusions of grandeur, where I would start my own Let's Play channel that people would watch. And I like Star Wars a whole bunch, at least at the time. And it's getting a little bit questionable now. Uh, you know, mostly thanks to Star Wars Galaxies, I was really into Star Wars at the time. So I started making videos. And over time, it's kind of become more just about sharing the games in my own way, rather than, you know, for any kind of fame or whatever. But I am firmly of the opinion that um, Let's Play should always be about the game first. The player should just be the one presenting the game, 
They're just there to, you know, accentuate what the game has to offer. And, you know, I, I can't really... I can't really stand Let's Players that, that make it all about themselves. Like with the face cam, like they ham up their reactions and... You know the kinds of people I'm talking about. I can't stand that. Like, you can do you can do a face cam, like, tastefully, where it's just, like, down in the corner. And you sometimes react to things. Like, Lythero does that for, for his streams. He does a pretty good job at doing that. But yeah, I don't, don't overdo it. In my opinion, it's not about you. It's about the game. Next question is, will you do a face reveal? Uh, sure. Here I am again. Again, though, I, I don't want this to be about me. It's about the games, so there you go. Next question asks, Do you ever want to make YouTube a full-time job? Uh, no. No, this is just a hobby of mine. Next question, Are there any other ways to contact you other than YouTube? Like, you know, Twitter or Facebook or something? Uh, not really. I, I don't really use any kind of social media like Twitter or, or Facebook or whatever it's out there. I, I personally don't really see the point. Uh, that's just me. Eh, I, I don't really, I don't really bother. Next question is, what would you say to your fans making a new avatar and YouTube banner for you, smiley face? Uh, this is a tricky one because, uh, well, while I certainly wouldn't mind someone creating artwork for my sake, at the same time, you also have to realize that I, I might not like it. You know, it's not something I, I particularly need, either. Like, I have created my own thumbnails for my, my a few of my Let's Plays, and... Eventually I'll get around to making thumbnails for all of them. Like, for, at least for, like, the first parts. And, you know, eventually get around to making a banner, I just kind of haven't gotten around to it yet. So, like, it's tough. Because while it would be cool to get art from people, like, I, I don't want you to have to, like, to have made something and you spent however many hours working on it for like this thing that you're making for someone and then like you don't even know if I'll use it or not so uh, it might it might even might not even because be because it's bad it might just not fit in with what I envision for the channel you know like if it's like a wildly different style or something I don't know so like I I would err on the side of, you probably shouldn't. But if you want to do that, and you can go ahead. Just be aware of that, is all that I'm saying. Uh, next question is, what will the upload rate be, and or time frame of being able to record until you're busy again? To give us an idea of what to expect in case you, you, you disappear for a, while, a long time again. Well, uh... Well, for my Dark Forces LP, I, I tried to do at least one video a week. Hopefully I can do a little bit more than that, because, you know, that's pretty slow for LP standards. But, uh, it's mostly just whenever I can get around to it, is when I, when I put the videos up. Like, I'll be sure to let you guys know if I plan on, on like, going on any extended breaks or anything. Or if I just haven't been posting, I'll just, you know, try to let you guys know what's up. Next question is... Will there be any more prolonged breaks from video making that you know of? If so, when and how long? Uh, I don't have any planned. But you know, planning these breaks wasn't really ever the issue. Next question is... When you do finish college and get your life on track with your career, do you still plan on doing YouTube? Eh, probably. I can't say for sure, you know, when things, you know, fully pick up, but... Eh, I plan on it, at least. Next question is, will there be any more multiplayer events? Uh, I don't I don't really plan on any. Like I said before, I'm, I'm pretty much done with Battlefront 2, so... Eh, yeah, I don't really have any more multiplayer events planned. Not in the near future, at least. Alright, so that's all the questions. Uh, well, not all of them. I, I excised a few because some of them were, were old and didn't matter anymore. But uh, yeah. Again, I have to thank you guys for so many of you guys for subscribing to me and, and pushing that pushing that little subscriber number up to like almost eighteen thousand yet now because that's jeez that's that's a lot more than I was ever expecting to get like ever but yeah anyway like I hope you guys enjoyed listening to this Q and A 
Uh, sorry for it being so delayed again, you know. But I hope I cleared up a few questions. I hope I made my thoughts clear on some things. And, and again, these questions are pretty old. So if you have anything more to ask, you know, just, just go ahead and ask them in the comments or on whatever video you happen to be watching. And I'll, I'll do my best to try and try and answer them. So yeah, thanks for listening. This has been Super Veriman, and may the force be with you. You know, because EA has their deadlines, developers had to pick and choose what to cut, and Clone Wars was... Excuse me? I'm recording. <laughs> what? Come on. I'm just going to redo that question.